Hey everybody, my name is Vijay and welcome to SandTube 3D, your best resource for all things 3D printing related. So today I'm going to go over some cool features that I noticed in Kira 4.3. not going to go over everything but the ones that stand out and I think that you will actually be using. So I'm going to go over that. Um, and of course you got to open up Kira first and if you want to know what these features are, you can click on help which is the last tab at the top. Click on what's new and it'll bring up this little window here and it'll tell you everything that they have to offer. Um, there's a lot of good things on here so if you have time to read it please go and do so. But of course the basics, some are important, some are not, uh, such as of course because Kira is an Ultimaker company they have implemented some upgrades for their machines along with some new profiles, things like that. The three or four things I want to go over with you guys, one for all you designers out there, uh, this is actually good news if you notice right here, even more 3D file formats. What that basically means is they have they have done it so you can imp now import more 3D file formats such as CAD, 3D scanning, modeling, so, um, some modeling softwares. Also, you can open GLTF, CTM, PLY formats and some other ones out there. So it's a lot easier, user-friendly to work with. And um, the next feature that I want to talk about is actually for print small features slower. What that basically means is for those of you that print small figurines, now of course it's not going to be as detailed as the resin printers offer, but um, basically what this is is it calculates the size of your model uh, to put it in layman's terms and slows down the speed according to that giving you way better detail or that's what they say now I personally don't print small figurines so I really couldn't tell you on that one but this is one of the cool features for all you guys that have the small prints that you're actually looking to print now uh, one cool feature here is that I really like is called align faces to the bed plate what this basically means, uh, let me go ahead and show you. So, apparently, as Simplified 3D has already had this feature for a while. Now, since I've never had Simplified 3D, I really didn't know how to use this feature because I was clicking on it all over the place. But, let's say my model's printing like this, and I'm going to have some supports here, but I don't want the support over there. So, what I'm going to do is, what most people would do, you would click it, you would turn it, and you try to lay it flat. But notice, it does not lay flat. So then you're gonna un um, undo the snap rotation. Then you gotta do it, and still, it's not perfect. Like there's still gaps. And you're never gonna get it right. So one thing I found out is right here. If you notice, under rotate, if you click on that, there's a new third box and that's a select face to align to the bed plate. What that basically means is if you select it and you click on it, it's going to put it on the bed. Now, given that I have never used this feature in Simplified 3D, again, because I've never had it, when I first <laughs> used it, I just kept clicking everywhere and I couldn't figure out what was going on. So, to use this feature, what you want to do is click on the model itself and then click on the third box. Now, Wherever you click on here, that's what's going to sit on the bed plate. So let's say if I want this part to be on the bed plate, I click right there. And if you notice, it'll automatically put it right on the bed for you. Let's say I wanted to go back and put this on the bed plate. You click there and it does it. Let's say I wanted to put the hair piece right here. If you click on it, it will do it for you. But of course, you would want to do flat surfaces. So the way to use this is click on the third box and click the part that you actually want to touch the bed. So in this case, let's say I want to do that. There you go. It's all done. I want to do this one. There it is. So this feature is actually pretty cool because if you've been 3D printing for even two, three months, I know there's been times where you guys have clicked on snap rotation and spent at least three to four minutes doing that. Um, when this feature first came out, I was like, well, what's the difference from lay flat? Um, because when you click on lay flat, it actually does like a calculation and then drops it down automatically. While this feature here, you can just basically click on it and it will 
put it wherever you need. So that's kind of a cool feature. I didn't know existed, to be honest, and now Cura has it, so that's kind of cool. One of the main things that I think you guys will like, um, this is actually where you can display your file name and layer number on your LCD screen when you're actually printing. Okay, and the way to do this is very simple. So let me go ahead and just put this back how it's supposed to be. Okay, so I got that right there. What you're going to do is you're going to click on extensions at the top. And once you click on extension, you're going to go to post processing and then modify G code. Once you come here, you're going to go ahead and add script, which you'll see right there. And then here, we just got to look for it and it's going to be display file name right there. Actually, just past it. So once you add that in, you're basically good to go do not fill anything out here okay so what's this gonna do just because you added added the script it's actually gonna display the name and the layer line at exactly where it's at when it's printing um, the name that's gonna pop up is gonna be this one right here so if you don't like this name um, that it's coming with and you wanna change it you can actually I don't know if you guys know you can actually click on it and just delete it and you can change it so now I labeled this file sand tube so when I save it once I slice it and save it and I take it to the printer it will actually display the name and the layer height it will not do it while it's heating up or prepping to get started but once the print actually starts you'll be good to go so let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what happens So here I am at the printer. I went ahead and brought the G code over. I inserted it. As you can see right here, nothing's really happening at the moment. Nothing was displayed because it was heating. Uh, now it says heating done. And there you go. Layer zero, sand tube. And that's how you do it, guys. That's all there is to it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope these features help you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, guys, go ahead and leave it down below. And before we get going, I just want to give a special thanks to all my supporters here. It's because of you guys, we keep this channel going. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, guys. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe. And like always, good luck and happy printing.